I guess the, the first thing that I think is, is kind of controversial is just, is just the idea of dominance in general. Right? I think it's it's not popular. No. When I say this to women, they're like, no, 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 I don't like to be dominated. It's not exactly true, is it? Yes, you do, honey. You just don't like admitting it. Like, come on. <laughs> Look, there's a reason why Fifty Shades of Grey was such a big seller, right? There's a reason why, the, and this last year there was that that movie three six uh, series three six five DNI, which was like a Polish ver- or something version of of uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. There's a reason this stuff is really really popular with the ladies. If any anyone's ever read like old school Mills and Boone novels, I don't know if you're familiar with those. They're like the old romance novels with Fabio on the cover. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. My mother used to read them, and I and I picked up one one day, and I was flabbergasted at what my mother was reading. I was like, what is this trash? Like, <laughs> but look, the women have been like, okay, there's this taboo, yes, around mentioning that women like to be uh, dominated in the bedroom, right? And it's kind of funny because it's, because there's not, the whole thing with like feminism nowadays is like anything that is remotely pre, remotely, remotely, uh, um, tangential to pre-feminism, pre-feminist revolution is evil, right? So mm-hmm. really, funny, really funny example of this. I had my friend Lola Fay, she's another uh, porn performer. I had her on my show doing an interview with her uh, before I left Los Angeles. I'm actually in Portugal right now, if, if you didn't know, uh, John. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I figured you're traveling with the, ba- I, I figured this yeah. is not your usual office, the bathroom. I mean, it's not a bathroom. <laughs> I'm not in the bathroom. This is how they tile the kitchens here oh, in Portugal. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> every, every podcast I've been on this week, everyone's asking, why the hell is Sterling on the toilet? <laughs> He's just in a public bathroom. Just <laughs> <laughs> guys just waltzing in past me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, I had my friend Lola Fay on, and she, Lola Fay has uh, she she works as like a as a sub. She works as a professional dom. She's been in the BDSM scene for a while, and uh, I was talking to her, and I was like, I asked her the question: Who has like of anyone, all the people you know, who has the most the best most functional relationship? Who, who of all your friends, who has the best relationship that you know of? And she thought about it for a second, and she was like, you know what? There's this one BDSM couple. And uh, they're hands down the most functional, like the best, happiest relationship I know. And what they do in their dom sub dynamic is they basically do a 1950s housewife kind of setup where she cooks and cleans and does all the ho- domestic duties. He goes and works, come ho- comes home and flogs her in the evening. And they are as happy as Larry. And I just sort of had to bite my tongue a little bit uh, around Lola. And I was like, huh, isn't that interesting? That uh, they're extremely, they're both extremely happy in this situation. Uh, but but guys are sort of lied to a lot, a, with a lot of the stuff that like that women don't like this. Like guys have this delusion in their head, unfortunately, and it's not their fault. They've just been lied to through freaking Disney and and Hollywood and all this nonsense. That women are these delicate flowers that are so fragile that you have to be extra, extra careful in the way you handle them and stuff. And any any man with a modicum of bedroom experience can tell you right now that they like to be manhandled. This right. is a very attractive thing for them, right? So when you get, uh, uh, unfortunately, when you get a guy like me coming along uh, who's in the industry who also sort of says the honest to God truth about this stuff, uh, yeah, hoes get mad. They don't like yeah. to, uh, they don't like to hear this stuff. I bet not. Well, and I think that part of it is a defensive mechanism to weed out weak guys, right? So I, I suppose like one of the arguments I we haven't seen in the chat yet, but I know it's going to come up. So I'm just going to address it ahead of time, which is guys tell me all the time. They're like, you know what? You say this, John, you say like women like to be dominated. I tried it and whoa, the response I got was so bad. And and my, my answer has always been, well, it's because she was testing you. Like she didn't really feel like you were you were you were literally trying it. And and she yeah. said that she didn't actually feel safe with you and secure. What, yeah. what do you think about that? Dude, uh, uh so there's a thing that I uh, the the way you do this stuff, right, is you have to come across congruent. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right? And congruency is when your your thoughts, your words, and your actions are all in alignment with one another. And if you're trying to execute some kind of more dominant sex act, 
in the in the back of your mind, you're thinking, "Oh, I, I really hope she likes this." Right. And <laughs> exactly. uh, you do something. No shit, it's not going to work. Like, because you look like a pussy. Right. I'm sorry, but you look, you don't look like the kind of guy who should be manhandling her. And the, the, he, I, I get, I've had guys ask me like, "Why do you think that women enjoy?" Being manhandled. Why do you think women enjoy sort of BDSM or, or you know more kinkier, uh, rougher kind of kind of play, right? And the reason I think this is, uh, it comes down to a, it's a demonstration that you as a man have the capacity for violence, and thus you have the ability to protect her and keep her safe and secure. Because if you can't, if you don't have the capacity for violence, then you definitely can't protect her, right? And this is a way, this is kind of like a deep-seated, like psychological, biological way of sort of showing to a woman that you have the capacity for violence. You are more stronger, you are stronger and more physically dominant than, than her, so that so you can keep her safe because of that, right? It's sort of like a reassurance. It's it's a security thing in the back of her head, I think. Exactly, yeah. It's it's kind of funny because actually just just by coincidence this morning I had an Instagram post where I had a video clip where I was talking about about the the phrase which I dislike which is she's not yours it's just your turn and 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 what I had said at the end was that it's more accurate to say she's given you to herself in this moment uh, like like the whole ownership because mm-hmm. it's, it seems to me that women want to be owned. They want to feel that that ownership that that ex, that's like maybe the most extreme form of domination is like she's yours like but it's in that moment it's yeah. a contextual thing it's not like you know it's not doesn't mean she's never going to leave you it just means that like that 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 feeling of ownership and that that dominance I think is so so important but so many guys don't there it's it's almost like they're afraid like they're afraid to actually go all the way so they're just dancing with 